Hello everyone, this is Massman from HWBot. Um, this video is a very short introduction to IGP overclocking on the Clark Gill uh, CPUs. The IGP integrated on the CPUs is the Intel GMA HD. Alright, uh, I'm currently working on the MSI H55M ED55 board with BIOS version 1.6. So to overclock the IGP we go to MSI's overclocking menu called cell menu. All right. As you can see I've already adjusted some things. Uh, I've been playing with the board the entire day now so that's why. The background noise you are hearing by the way is my single stage cooling unit uh, which is currently cooling down the CPU. I'm sorry if the, the noise is a bit annoying to you. Anyways um, for the IGP frequency itself, there are two very important frequency and, and multipliers. The first one is the, the CPU base frequency or base clock frequency. And the second one is the IGPU ratio. Uh, let's start with the IGPU ratio here. Um, on other mainboards you can sometimes see this as uh, expressed as an actual frequency, for instance, uh, 733 or 533. Now, MSI is probably the only mainboard manufacturer that really grasps how the, the IGP is working inside the Clark Gale CPU. Basically, the, the IGP frequency is, r um, is um, relative to both uh, the IGP ratio you're setting and the CPU base clock frequency. So uh, this is this is the ratio w working kind of like the CPU ratio, and this is the CPU base fre base frequency. If you want to increase the IGP frequency, you can go up and down with the BCLK, or you can go up and down with the IGP ratio. Um, next to that. You also have to take into account the memory frequency because the IGP on the Clark Hill CPU has no dedicated memory it's taking the memory resources from the system memory this means that if you overclock your system memory too high you will have uh, an IGP crashing in 3D not stable in, in other words just keep that in mind uh, okay the last thing is the voltages uh, obviously the GPU voltage is the, the main voltage you will be adjusting when overclocking the, the IGP but you also have to take into account that CPU VTT and the PCH 1.05 volt might have to be adjusted for the simple reason that um, the memory controller and the, the PCI controller are on the same die as the as the IGP just take that uh, into account and increase or keep uh, a safe balance between between all um, concerning the, the IGPU frequency uh, I've been able to hit roughly 1.1 gigahertz on air cooling and with this eight single stage cooling unit I've been reaching up to 1250 um, from my experience the most important uh, factor determining the, the, the IGP frequency stability is, is the voltage so you will need to push uh, push the voltages if you want to reach 1300 or maybe even 1400 